I'll escort you to Empire when you feel that you are presentable. No. I want to face day like this. This is the man who made me. Thank you, Empire. I'm grateful to no longer be on Lepsis. Yes, I can smell the gratitude. You're here by Lady Demoiselle's grace, not mine. The transport that brought you here can just as easily bring you back. Lady Demoiselle said that Glaywin is still alive. Glaywin. Oh, don't play games. He waits behind that door. You'll see him after we talk. If our talk goes well, you'll find him alive. What's the mission? Reconnaissance. We have an informant on Suena. That's a spy's work. Suena's not a military threat. Not unless they're weaponizing cacti. So who's your actual concern? Over a hundred years ago, Harry Selden stood where you are now. He claimed he could establish a foundation to read the future and shorten a coming age of darkness. Now I believe it was simply a ruse to buy his people time and distance. Currently, his followers worship his memory and recruit members from the fringes of empire. I want you to find out if the Foundation is a threat to me. Can they read the future? That would fall under the heading of things you're supposed to find out. Forced labor has diminished him. Take him away. Kill the husband. Can I speak frankly, Empire? and privately. Just the two of us? Granted. Brothers. You're an arrogant bully. And if you brought me here just to kill me, then you're an idiot as well. When you defied my orders in battle, you embarrassed me. A man can withstand that, but not an empire. An empire breathes respect, requires it for its life. It also requires planetary systems. And if this foundation is picking them off, then you need the fleet with the highest efficiency rating. The 20th fleet isn't yours anymore. <laughs> Fuck if it isn't. And this isn't about respect for bloody empire. I made you look foolish, didn't I? You, the singular man in that suit of skin that's never come within a light year of a battle. Do you think to strike me? Strike you? I'd like to rip your fucking head off. Go ahead.